welcome to my channel my name is Lisa so today we're going to be working on journal cards um, I recently did these uh, through pocket um, made from 12 by 12 scrapbook pages where you have a pocket pocket and a side pocket going in there um, so I've decided to see if we can make at least one uh, tag to go into here and I do have an idea for the second tag so I'm not sure if it'll be a second video or um, this video um, just depends on how long these uh, take to do. Um, I have found which tags I want to stick in there. I just need to go ahead and decorate some. So uh, what we're going to be using today is some pre-made bases that I have done in the past. Um, I have pulled out my printed doilies that I got um, in my last haul. I have those. I have that attached. I've got some just um, labels and um, some of those tickets that I also got at my last haul. Um, I've got some pretty butterflies that um, I have attached to them. So there is, um, for that one, I thought that went really pretty together. Uh, this one is on a, uh, what's it called? A um, scrapbook piece of paper. And it was a collage master board that I had done and cut up. And actually, if you go to my coffee account, um, I have a free download of some of these master boards that I created that you can print out yourself. They're um, definitely fun to use. Um, these are the original ones with the um, actual texture on them, not the printouts. Um, but I did attach, uh, oops, I'm gonna have to glue you down a little washi tape. Um, I do have used those washi uh, flowers that I had um, also from the last haul, uh, as long as the butterflies, put a little washi on there. So that was a pretty simple one because most of the background was uh, done already. Um, and also, if you did watch this last video with the pockets, um, after I had stopped the video, I noticed I had not decorated this one. Um, so this one I just added some greenery to. It had a bit of golden leaf to it. Um, so I thought that was a great match for that. And one of the... Um, Tracy Fox grungy labels to it and like I said I just wrapped around the back um, for that but I really liked how that one ended up turning out so um, yeah so those two are done we'll get these to the side and let me show you um, the other ones that we have and what I found so for this one um, I pulled out of my stash my whack and stack tags that I have sewn um, I did add a piece of coffee dyed paper to the back just to um, sort of stabilize it a little bit and I thought it was kind of cool because it has the it looks like stitching going down it and this one had stamps on it so that's why I decided um, to have it go with this one. Uh, this is another one of the uh, washi um, I, I saw washi tape and I said that one of my master boards that I have on my coffee account um, this is the original one and I like this one because it had um, some of the oranges that went with this one so that one is going to go with this one and um, I have gone through and rounded all these cards inked them um, save some time uh, this one is just on a uh, digital on a index card I can kind of see the lines in the back there um, I thought this was cool kind of looks almost like Christmassy too with the greens and reds um, so and then this one the last one that's got the pinks and pastels on it this one I had some pinks on there so I thought that would be kind of fun uh, to do for that so yeah, so let's go ahead and decorate. Now I did see, I think I might do this one first because um, the other half of that sheet that I had used for the wa for the uh, first one where I cut the doily off um, has a great color match to this. I was thinking about putting that on there, but I don't know if it's just too busy anyway. It might be too busy to put the doily, but it's kind of pretty. Am I really covering anything up that's that important? <laughs> How about a little corner? Oh, let's do that. Compromise. Let's do a little corner. And I'll round it off. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'll save that for something else. So how are you today? Hopefully good. Uh, I hope you had a good Mother's Day if you celebrated it. Uh, we were able to get together with uh, the family. Um, I'm not a big fan of going out for Mother's Day. It's always crowded. Um, yeah, I've just never, never been a fan of going out to dinner. So we decided to uh, just go to my parents' house, uh, order some pizza, 
and play some games. You don't have to worry about anybody else. You can eat on your own time frame. Yeah. Okay, a little off, but there we go. Yeah, I like that now. Simple, but adds to it. So, uh, a little bit of a butterfly. I think maybe a green butterfly could be kind of fun because of that green. Now, I, of course, I got two. I have two butterfly. These were. Um, that one's cool. I like that. Um, uh, these I got. Um, they were fussy cuts. Um, I will. I think they're either the Junk Journal Studio or Tracy Fox. Now, I can't remember. If I think about it, I will um, put a link in the description. Um, but I got two out of the one kit. Two boxes of butterflies that are full. So <laughs> um, it, it was a big, big kit. Uh, when I went through it, I um, someone's mowing their lawn. Um, when I went through it, um, I didn't fussy cut them all the way down because there were so many. I, I mean, it took me a couple days just to uh, cut them out so that they were uh, individual little butterflies. So. So for this one, you had to bear with me to watch that. But if I do any future butterflies on this video, I will uh, fast forward the cutting through so you don't have to put up with, with that. All right. So I think we need something to ground them. And that one, I did put a leaf. So... That. He's got the same kind of oranges and greens in there. Okay, that one will work. Now just to figure out how to get him to be okay. So let's go with that. Ties in the colors, got some orange in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's cute. I like it. Okay. Alright, let's move on to move on to this one. Let's see. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're going to do that. And we're going to 
cut it right there. Okay. Yeah, cute. to use my larger labels too often. I tend to shy away from them. They tend to be a little bit smaller or a little bit too big for what I'm working on. But I think they will do for these. There's that same one, but I think I do like brighter than I was thinking of. glitter glue to glue her down. Yeah, that'll be cute on top of there. Okay, let's do that. find a small butterfly to put on there. I think you're a little brighter than I was thinking of. Choices. I think I like you. Okay. Okay, cut off camera. Save you that pain. <laughs> Yeah. Don't 
think I mind that at all. Yeah, cute. All right. So, uh, this one, I saw this bird, and I thought it might be interesting with it. But now, I'm thinking maybe that might be a little bit better. All right. I want to put a doily on here. I do have somewhere, I got my tea dyed doilies. These might be fun. I, I was uh, looking for my doilies because I was thinking about trying to figure out a way to uh, print them like I was, and uh, like I did the fake napkins, like I was talking about when I did the haul video, and for the life of me, I cannot find my doilies since I have moved up to this craft room. I knew exactly where they were, what box they were sitting when I was in my dining room, and I searched for a good hour before I started doing this video because I was hoping to do that printing of my own doilies. But sadly, I could not find them. So I don't know, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I had quite a bit left from when I tied, uh, not tied in, coffee dyed them. I mean, they're not like they cost a ton of money. I could buy some more, but still, the point of it, somewhere I have a whole batch of plain white doilies sitting, just itching to be played with. So. I'm gonna run across them, I'm sure, when I don't wanna run across them. All right, so a little purple, a little baby purple maybe. I think there's purples in here. By the time I'd go through and oh, that's pretty um, sort them by size or color or something but who's got time for that I sure don't There could be fun. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So like that one. All right. Time to cut. All right. Two butterflies. I like that one a lot. Okay. All right. So I guess this is the last one here. And you are definitely a little bit more on the Christmassy kind of side. So I'm not sure. Well, that one's
one's kind of fun. I think I'll do that side. That looks a little... Yeah, I like that. Kind of brightens it up a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find a fun label to go with this. Can't pick anything up. Kind of the right color. Seaside dudes. <laughs> a flamingo and like a crow. That's cute. Chef coffee. Well, there's definitely some fun ones here. I don't know where you guys have been buried. I haven't seen you. Near the top, though, they're kind of fun. All right, so just gonna nip the edges ever so slightly, get rid of the squareness, and ink it. Got a bit of green and red in there. Yeah, cute. Okay. Tiny labels. Well, that's cute. All right, go with your first instinct, Lisa. All right, we'll do a little. I think this is a. You're just like a, I think you're a Tim Holtz kind of ephemera thing, so it's a little bit thicker than the paper. So I'm just gonna snip the edges and a little snip and dip some ink. And we'll use our, our glitter glue to make it stay. Whoops, upside down.
Yeah, too bad that B picture's crooked. How do I do that all the time? Oh, <laughs> oh well. What are you gonna do? Nothing. I'm stuck down there now. It doesn't look as crooked in the box. <laughs> yeah, those colors really tie well in together, so that worked out good. All right, is that all of them? Did I finish them all? I don't think I did. I had six of them. I did have six of them. Okay. All right, well, I guess I'm going to call this video done. I think I'll show you the tags up close, and then we'll... Uh, um, save the uh, second uh, tag for a separate video. All right, so here is the first one, or the last one I did. Um, I really do like it, except for the fact that it's crooked. Uh, that door that looks very cool in the back with the bugs. Um, like I said, just not a playing card for that. And here is this one. Pretty butterfly. I like that. Um, pinks and oranges go together with the greens. Hints of the butterfly in that one. I think that goes really well with that pocket. All right, and then this one on my, don't forget to check out my coffee account for the freebies. Um, I really do like that corner uh, doily. I think that worked out pretty well. That butterfly is beautiful with the little ferns on the back. Yeah, cute, I like it. And then this one with the double butterflies purple and green. Very cool. I do like it a lot for my whack and stack tag. Very cute. And then these are the ones that I did off camera. Um, a doily with the label. I never did pull my tickets. I was talking about putting tickets on there. I forgot to pull those. Um, I really like that butterfly. He's really pretty. I think the next project I'm going to do for the other tag is going to have lots of tickets. So I guess that'll be okay. Okay, and then the other one I did off camera, again from the uh, master board, the pretty purples on there, purple and yellow butterfly, it's gorgeous. Again, another one, uh, same thing on my coffee account, so that goes with that one. All right, well, that is going to be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have a favorite one, which one you liked, i really like to hear from you. And if you're thinking about doing a project similar to this, let me know. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, especially if you want to see the other tags being made uh, to finish these pockets off. And if you like the video, a thumbs up would be great. Don't forget to have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.